Are you noticing settling in your home's foundation? Settling is something that will get worse over time if gone untreated. And helical piers are a great solution for this. But are helical piers always the right choice? In this video, we're gonna talk about exactly when helical piers are great to be used on settling home foundations. Hi, I'm Nolan, the sales director here at AccuLevel. In this video, we're gonna talk about what helical piers do and why they would be a great solution for your home settling foundation. By the end of the video, we hope that you'll have all the information that you need to determine if helical piers are the right solution for your home. So when we talk about the word helical piers, most people don't know what that two words mean, right? Everybody might have their own version, whether that's piles or anything like that. But at the basis of it, helical piers are a very simple concept that it's a screw mentality, right? It's driving a large steel screw into the earth to support your home's foundation. We're going in and we're installing those. We can install them inside of basements, outside of basements, inside of crawl spaces, whatever best accommodates your situation. But these are utilized when the home's foundation starts to settle. So we're screwing these in and watching a pressure off of hydraulics to know that we're getting into good soil that's shown us the resistance that means that it's load bearing for your home. Now the really cool thing about helical piers is they're installed completely independently of your home. And so we're screwing those in, not using the house at any capacity to put that in. And then once it's in, that's when we attach it to the home. We can attempt to lift there. Worst case scenario, stabilize right where it's at. But since we do that independently of your home, we get to use safety factors. And so these piers are engineered a lot of times to hold double the capacity of your home. And so there's a safety factor there that says that these are never going to move. And we actually put our warranty behind that, the life of the structure that these piers will not settle. And so that's really, really important when you're investing a large amount of money into your home and you want to be sure that it works. So then the next question that you have to have is, well, are helical piers a good option for my home? Really what we're looking at in Aki level of when these are good options and when they're not is what's the foundation structure, right? Are your foundation walls blocked or poured concrete? If they are, helical piers are a great solution for those types of foundations that are settling. Now, if your home's brick or stone, or maybe you even have a wood foundation, helical piers are usually not a good solution for that because of the amount of pressure that that can put back on your foundation trying to push it up is if it's a 100, 200 year old brick, you run the option of that brick crushing due to the pressure that it's putting on it. Same thing with stone is it's not really held together congruently. And so you can have individual movements and actually do more damage to your foundation. Same thing with wood is wood when we're talking about poured concrete versus wood, wood's very soft. And so you could actually not help a lot by doing helical piers to where you could actually use that money to invest in a little bit different fix. And that would be a lot more beneficial to you as the homeowner. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this helped you understand a little bit more about helical piers and whether they're a good solution for your home. If you have more questions on what helical piers are or anything related to helical piers, please leave those questions in the comment section below. We would love to answer those for you. If you'd like to learn more about helical piers and settling foundations, check out the description below. There's some links and some other videos and some blog articles that'll dive a little bit deeper into helical piers and kind of what we went over in this video. Again, we have seen about 99% of the people who watch these videos are not subscribed or like these videos. So if you could please take a little bit of time and hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, we would greatly appreciate it. Thank you again for watching.